so hello everyone today i am going to start a new chapter which is the circulatory system of class 10th so let's start okay so um let me start with a brief introduction of the topic so what is circulatory system as you can feel your heart uh, fighting up uh, fighting every time you put your hands on a chest but uh, do you know what exactly happening like why your heart is beating like this so um as you can see that uh, your heart is uh, your heart is beating 10000 times and sending 2000 gallons of blood across your body so actually your heart has a mighty job of sending your blood throughout your body through 60000 miles of blood vessels can you imagine 60000 miles of blood vessels so let me start so as you can see the circulatory system moves nutrient throughout the body the central organ the engine is the heart which is pumping organ made up of cardiac muscles the heart pumps blood to different part of the body blood is a fluid that contains cells that can fight infections carry oxygen waste and seal off damage to skin and muscles right so as you can see the heart is pumping and i will tell you the whole procedure how it works so the heart is made up of four chambers as you can see left uh, this is this is the left atrium this is the left ventricle right ventricle and right atrium and the right atrium uh, on the upper right corner like uh, right ventricle ventricle move blood towards the lungs we will we will learn all about this in the next subsequent uh, video so um, as you can see the word uh, word related to circulatory system have the prefix hemo hemato which is based on the greek word which hema iska matlab kya hota hai this means blood for example hemophilia as you have heard about hemophilia a disease hai if the person experiences excessive bleeding due to poor blood clotting so now we are going to talk about the parts of blood as you can see in this image there are various kinds of blood like red blood cells platelets white blood cells and we have blood is produced in bones and is made up of two parts plasma which is made up of water and some dissolved proteins and makes up about 55% of blood right so um as you can see at, at my back side okay so now uh, there are parts of Uh, parts of the blood like uh, you can see the white blood cells this these are the white blood cells that fight in that, that fight uh, that is a fighter for your body and um, salt protein cells which makes up remaining 45% of the blood right so uh, parts of blood because 45% of the blood is made up of salt and cells blood is a lot thicker than a solution like salt water which contains about 4% salt and and about a uh, much higher percentage of water so cells include red blood cells white blood cells and platelets as you can see these are the platelets these are the white blood cells and these are the red blood cells so the cells include red blood cells white blood cells and platelets red blood cells are the most common cell types in the blood they bring oxygen to the body cells and also remove wastes from them and you can see in this image like platelets are the body's repairs if any part of the body is damaged platelets cells rush to the spleen from the clots or clumps to prevent further blood uh, flow to cuts like uh, whenever you get cuts the platelets help you in uh, removing all these things now the stab with the cut in your skin is evidence of platelets working when an any area of your circulatory system is damaged the platelets move to the area and release chemicals to call more platelets to that damaged area like the platelets are kind of a uh, a uh, force that will help you when you when you fall any cuts when you get any cuts and bruises on your body right so they will try to fix it as you can see the oxygen circulation the circulatory system relies on the skeletal system to create blood cells the blood cells with all types are formed in the bone marrow as you can see there this is the bone and there is a bone marrow where all the blood cells form where they tra uh, travel outward in the circulatory system through the capillaries the tiniest blood vessels in the body right so capillaries are the tiniest blood vessels in the body 
as you can see these are the so the so the heart has four chambers like right as i have i have told you about this but it has valves also there are four valves tricuspid valves mitral valve pulmonary valves and aortic valves so as you can see there is two mitral valve and this is a tricuspid valve right so now uh, we have read about like um, I, i have told you about all the structure of the heart and all that now uh, we will see how the heart exactly how it works right so the heart is a muscular organ which beats approximately 72 times a minute and uh, as you can see there are labeling uh, all over your heart like aorta pulmonary artery left atrium mitral valve aortic valve superior vena cava right atrium so we will see one we will see all the function of all of them one by one so the red blood cells that deoxygenated contains no oxygen so basically your blood becomes oxygenated when they absorb oxygen from the lungs okay so the so the when they absorb oxygen from the lungs it becomes oxygenated and it carries the oxygenated blood to your left atrium right so uh, we have seen the left atrium so the the left side there is a left atrium and there is a pulmonary vein right so uh, so it uh, enters through the left atrium through the pulmonary vein and uh, when the left atrium relaxes it pumps into the heart right blood pumps into the heart and when the left atrium contracts the blood then pumps into the left ventricle right so as you can see there is a left ventricle over there so uh, at the upper part there is a left atrium so blood enters to the pulmonary artery and then enters into the left atrium when the left atrium contracts the blood pumps into the lower side like left left ventricle right this is the left ventricle and when the left ventricle contracts okay because when the left left atrium contracts at the same time left ventricle relaxes simultaneously it happens simultaneously so uh, the left when the left ventricle relaxes so the blood goes into the aorta as you can see there is a aorta and the blood pumps into the aorta and uh, travels to all your body like right? it reaches to all your body so now as you can see pulmonary artery and pulmonary veins right so as you can see in this image like your heart your uh, the blood pumps into the the oxygenated blood pumps into the right right uh, sorry left atrium through pulmonary veins and uh, it enters through the left ventricle and then when the left ventricle contracts it then moves to the aorta and the aorta is reaching towards the different parts of your body through this this artery right and the artery reaches uh, the blood oxygenated blood through a different part of the body and then after uh, after exchanging gases and after uh, getting carbon dioxide from your tissues it becomes deoxygenated and it reaches towards the veins becomes uh, because the artery because the vessels becomes thick and uh, it becomes it enters through the veins and uh, go through the a uh, uh, right atrium right as you can see there is a right atrium on the upper side it enters through the right atrium through a vein which is called vena cava so the oxygenated blood travels through the vena cava and enters into the right atrium okay so as you can see the once the blood reaches the heart the right ventricle pumps the deoxygenated blood towards the lungs when it enters a new set of capillaries in these capillaries the lungs alveoli exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide during the process of breathing the oxygen then enters the blood and is taken up by the red blood cells right so as you can see it's happening like this pulmonary veins and then left atrium okay so as you can see the left red blood cells take oxy taken oxygen by using hemoglobin a molecule within red blood cells that contain iron iron within hemoglobin traps oxygen like a magnet allowing it to stick to the red blood cells so the journey in the body the blood is oxygenated blood due to its carrying oxygen right because as you can see the be blood becomes oxygenated right and the red blood cells moves through the arteries they enters the capillaries that lead to the various cells of the body 
when the red blood cells enter the oxygen poor environment the oxygen carried by the hemoglobin separates from the blood uh, blood cells and it, and it taken into the cells the oxygenated blood then leaves the capillaries restarting the circulatory cycle as you can see so the the whole procedure is uh, happens like this like oxygen blood from lungs the left atrium left ventricle aorta to other arteries capillaries right atrium right ventricle lungs for the oxygenation and the cycle again continuous like continues like this okay so thank you so much and uh, thank you